We've already talked about how unique liveness properties are, and in order for them to make sense and we don't get false counterexamples, we need something called fairness constraint. Here's by example what they are. Perfectly reasonable assertion to write is if I have a request, s underscore eventually I'll get a response. So there's nothing wrong with that. But what will probably happen is when we observe a counterexample like this, so this is what the counterexample would look like, a rec here, and response getting held low forever. That's a false failure because the design is waiting for a ready. So as the tool is able to hold ready zero forever, that counterexample is a, is a bogus one because that's not really how a design will behave. That wasn't what we were intending to check for. So in order to overcome this, this is what we need, an assumption which prevents that happening. Okay, so that's known as a fairness constraint. If valid is true, we're saying S underscore eventually the tool has to try ready to true. This excludes counterexamples where ready is being held low forever. So we would no longer see that counterexample if the design was actually correct. However, we might still observe a failure, and that might be a real one. So here we have a request occurring, but no response ever. And we did have a valid, and we did have a ready. So if we had a ready, if the design was correct, it should have given a response, and it did not. So we've got a real bug now instead of a bogus one that we had before.